our journey through the modern church. In this unit, we travel to Europe and America to survey the people, events, religious, and intellectual developments of the modern era. We also return to Roman Catholicism and Eastern Orthodoxy to survey the last several centuries of development in those major faith traditions. In order to understand the context of modern Christianity, we need to begin at what historians consider the beginning of the modern era, the French Revolution in 1787. Then, during the 19th century, three men greatly influenced the world with their ideas. Charles Darwin and the theory of evolution, Karl Marx and communism, Sigmund Freud and psychoanalysis. In the aftermath of these intellectual developments, the church responded in diverse ways to the challenges of a totally new cultural context. One response was theological liberalism, an attempt to reinterpret and restate Christianity in terms compatible with modern scientific and philosophical viewpoints. Or, as Richard Niebuhr put it, a God without wrath brought men without sin into a kingdom without judgment through the ministrations of a Christ without a cross. There were later responses by leaders such as Karl Barth and Dietrich Bonhoeffer who desired to guide theology toward a new orthodoxy. And in England, there were a number of evangelical activities led by such inspiring figures as William Wilberforce, C.H. Spurgeon, and C.S. Lewis. During the 19th century, the American church faced the same theological challenges, but also dealt with a number of other issues, such as abolition of slavery, evangelization in the West and in the cities, new unorthodox religious groups such as the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Holiness and Pentecostal movements. One issue that impacted the course of American Christianity was the fundamentalist modernist conflict of the early 20th century, so it will receive much of our attention. The climax of this conflict was the Scopes Monkey Trial, and I have included as a bonus feature a film clip from Inherit the Wind, a movie loosely based on this event. Although the movie was heavily Hollywoodized, the trial scene was pretty much word for word. I hope that you enjoy it. After the Scopes Monkey Trial set back the fundamentalists, the mantle of conservative Christianity was taken up by the new evangelicals, including Billy Graham, possibly the best-known American Christian of the 20th century. One of my favorite lectures in this unit deals with the Jesus Movement. As I tell my students, I know I'm old when I have lived through one of the historical events that I teach about. And I'm not the only Jesus freak on the faculty. Doctors Bill Warren, Preston Nix, Philip Pinkard and I gathered together for a panel discussion of how we were influenced by the Jesus Movement, and I've posted that video as a bonus feature. So, Unit 6 is packed with a lot of information and bonus features, and it brings us to the close of our study of the Reformation and the modern era of the Church. If you haven't taken History of Christianity Early to Medieval, Hopefully this course will spark your interest in learning the beginning of the story. In the meantime, I appreciate your joining me on our journey through the past 500 years of Christian history. I trust that it's been a positive experience for you. Now, let's finish the story.